Well, Gary, round seven, a great day for the club. Uh, the official opening of our new facility and fantastic to cap it off with an 80-point victory over North Ballarat. Um, who it's fair to say hadn't been playing to their full potential coming into the game, but you've always got to respect the Gerald Fitzgerald coach side, so it must be a really pleasing result. Yeah, from all fronts really, Sam. Obviously the opening of the wonderful facility and of course the attendance by something like 170 people for the luncheon and it's a great way to start the day and then of course the unveiling as mentioned and certainly any side that Jared Fitzgerald coaches, you've always got to respect them because of what Fitz has done in the competition and triple premiership coach. So for us to be playing at home as we always strive to be not letting any side come here and go away with four points so we we're extremely pleased the way the game started obviously it's important if a side has had a loss as you've mentioned before that you just don't release the pressure at all and you don't want their game to be able to I guess be played on their terms and we wanted to play it definitely on our terms and thankfully Toby won the toss and of course kicked with the breeze and yeah, it'll be a long time, I think, since we've kicked 12 goals in a quarter, but it was really the method, the way we used the ball with the breeze. We didn't expect the breeze to just do the job for us. We had deep entries. We had a lot of efficient and effective scoring once we got the ball inside 50 and 12 goals to three a quarter time certainly set the match up for hopefully keeping it in our favour, which eventually we're able to get the points. We lost a few key players before the bounce and Sebastian Henderson came in and really played a nice role up for kicking four goals and along with Shannon Taylor for his first game of the season. Yeah, look, it's important. That's all what we profess to have happen at the club is that if someone misses for whatever reason, they can't affect the result. And of course, it's important that we continue to show our depth and both Sebastian kicking four goals and Shannon Taylor contributing at least one on the scoreboard. But of course, there are other goal assists as well. Certainly speaks volumes of what these players can do and we expect them to play their role. And certainly then in the second quarter, obviously going against the Breeze, I thought we defended really, really well and kept Ballarat to only two goals. And of course, we scored two ourselves and went in with a pretty handy 10-goal lead at uh, halftime. And Nathan Batsanis, he's just in absolute blue chip form at the moment. 42 possessions again. He's really having a stellar season. Yeah, look, this is his home, obviously. He's a premiership player, of course, and went through that season with the unbeatables. And for us to then get Nathan back, we welcomed him with open arms. And, of course, he's only missed the one match and had over 40 possessions by the end of the game. And, of course, what he does offer us as someone who's experienced enough around the stoppages. But I've been really pleased with his tackling this year. It's something that I think he's really added to his game and consistently doing it more and more. Toby got pretty heavily tagged and obviously Fitzy had done his homework on trying to negate Toby's influence after the wonderful game he had against Geelong the previous week. So guys of that ilk, such as Nathan Batsanis, we haven't got Chris Kane playing for us at the minute. Jimmy Magna hasn't played for us much over the last month or so. Shannon Lang resumed in the reserves, but unfortunately did his hamstring again. I'm not sure what uh, level of injury it is. Tommy Johnson's come back and played through the twos. Obviously, Tommy Gordon was another one who hasn't played a lot of footy for us this year. So our depth in the midfield is quite strong once we get all those guys back. So hopefully there's internal pressure and we need that because we want our development team to be uh, winning as many games as they can to keep that pressure coming for selection each week. And we've got a second fan question that's come through. Uh, for anyone out there, please use the hashtag AskAirsy for future weeks. And this one's from Nick Chancellor, who actually asked the question last week on Twitter, but it's still relevant this week. He just wants to know which recruit has had the biggest impact so far this season. Well, that's another good question, really. I'd probably say Geordie Lyle's been our most uh, important player in relation to a contribution, and that was really pleasing, too, that he didn't hit the scoreboard from a goals point of view, but we had other avenues to goal and of course we want to make it extremely difficult for the opposition to play against us and if we're I guess channeling all our entries to someone like Geordie then it's probably reasonably easy for the opposition to defend but whether it was young Lockie Waddell who got a couple or Buddha Johnson, Blake Pearson, obviously Huey Sandlands, Sebastian Henderson as we mentioned before so I think really you'd have to say Jordan but Nathan obviously being a uh, older recruit, I guess, having uh, spent time here before, I think has been extremely important. And I guess you can't underestimate Dan Toman's performances so far too. He probably goes through each game a little bit unheralded from outside the footy club, but inside he's extremely highly rated. And so the Box Hill Hawks next. Uh, last year's runners-up, second versus third on the ladder. Both teams 5-1 and only 0.01% separating the two of us. So it's pretty hard to find a bigger match-up than this one at this stage of the season. 
Yeah, and look, it's great for our development. I think, you know, us as a young side, we've got to keep evolving to things that we believe are going to be our benchmarks and measures that we think will give us an opportunity to play finals again this year. And that's our aim, as it is every year. And certainly Box Hill at Box Hill, it's another TV game for us, having played down there against Geelong a couple of weeks ago. So it's important for our brand, it's important for, I guess, our trademark. And we certainly should go out there thinking that this is a wonderful opportunity. Obviously, expectations are always high and certainly uh, no more formidable foe than a side that won the Premiership two years ago and runners-up last year. But we'll go out there with confidence. I think it's uh, getting better and better each week. But certainly we should be not fearing anybody, but knowing that it'll be a really hard day. And, uh, of course, the harder you work, the luckier you get. That's it. Well, Gary, uh, thanks very much for your time again. It sounds like another big week and best of luck against Box Hill. Good on you, Sam. Thanks, mate.